Good morning and welcome back to Video Diary on the Farm. Saturday morning, as you can see, sun shining. It's all go here. Yeah, today's the day we start drilling. We didn't do any last week, but uh, yeah, we're definitely starting this morning and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a bit in. I'm starting on winter barley, we are. So you can see in the background, plows on 724. You'll see a bit more about that later on in the video. So uh, yeah, anyway. Hopefully we'll see you a bit later on. Seed at the minute. The seed, the seed has been counted, thousand grains and weighed, and the calculations for the seed rate worked out on the thousand grain weight using the seed eye. Anyway, we'll explain more about the seed eye in another uh, video. Yeah, conditions are ideal, plenty of moisture, just in nicely there. I'll get a pre-em spray on that, it'll, uh, it'll soon be away. Uh, yeah, let's hope it uh, it's dried well from when it was worked. Derek Culty pressed it, so yeah, looking good. Well, we're just low, out loading the last of the Bamford seed, what we grew. Uh, it's going to uh, seed dressing house for dressing up for delivery to farms. So yeah, it's all going. This load will nearly clean us up, I think, and we want a little bit more for ourselves. So good. Well, we've just started spraying off uh, stale seed beds, ready to start drilling. So here I am, I've got the sprayer on and we're putting glyphosate on to give a good kill of all any black grass or any flush of weeds or volunteers what comes through. Yeah, you'll see it's why important we map the boundaries like I did in the other video. In a minute, you'll see how it steers itself around, which is good when there's no tram lines in front of you. Yep, so when you look in front of me, there's no visible tram lines. And of course, now we're on new wider booms. It's a wide, so uh, yeah, steering set up now, 36. So when I hit the go button, we're off. Sprayer on, there we are. 
activate the spray lines, then we're off. Saving itself. Yeah, it's just on the edge of the boundary now. Really makes it uh, a handy, worthwhile thing marking your field boundaries out. Especially when you've got no tram lines to follow. I'm just getting nicely into the bottom of the furrow. Spot on. Yeah, this field was right. Well, we're very fortunate today. We've got a Cavernland LO plough on demonstration from Farmstar. And uh, it's got slide mold boards on, so we'll just see how it goes. And it's one of these with a pivoting headstock for transport. So, uh, yeah, we'll get Roger to tell us all about it when he gets out of the cab. Right, we've got Roger here from Cavernland. Thank you very much. Good Come morning. Uh, yeah, he's going to just do a talk round now, the plough. So. Yeah, okay, Roger. Right, yeah. so here we have the LO TTS. Um, T TTS tra stands for Trailer Transport System. What that involves is we have a pivoting to to allow when it's towed to tow like a trailer. So we've got a pivoting front headstock. Top link comes out as normal, and then onto the wheel on the back. We then lock that up for transport in the new normal butterfly position and like I say we are towing from the front end of the road up the rear so this then tows like a trailer. That then you have electronic box in the cab to no, do that. It's done fully hydraulic. All oh, right, yeah. You spool in the tractor, have two taps here, which will work one way for ploughing and the other way for depth adjustment. Yeah, all oh, right, yeah, that's brilliant. That, yeah, spot well right. on, yeah. Um, yeah. So, as well, it, uh, th this plough being 100 point to point, you've got uh, a lot of clearance in the body. Yeah, yeah. 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 I do like a big clearance on the oh, point, yeah, 100 yeah, point yeah. point, yeah, oh, brilliant, yeah. Yeah. Point, yeah, 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 you've got the extra yeah. here as well, so allowing a lot better clearance and in stubble and uh, rough conditions. Yeah, oh brilliant, well thank you very much Roger That's for explaining right, to us, yep, no worries. we'll uh, yeah, have we'll a look at it in transport in the yard later on, thank, thank you very much, thank you. Yeah, we could do with, uh, they were saying it'll drop more rain. This is on uh, number 40 body slatted mold boards, designed for our old people. Uh, just so that's, so I've just been told by uh, Roger, the Cavernland man. But yeah, doing a nice job of that. Yeah, very along with it though, 724. Lumps there is, there are big lumps from the tram lines.
sleep. Lovely and dry, lumpy. Making a nice job of it. New seagulls for company. As Roger said, this is an on land or in for a plough, which is easily converted by just flicking uh, the spool valve which moves all the plough sideways and you can drop into the furrow if conditions start to deteriorate which is really useful but uh, yeah as you can see we're ploughing on top with it offset so there's no compaction in the furrow bottom and we do like ploughing like this because of the reason of no compaction but uh, we aren't afraid of dropping in the furrow if need be sort of swings from side to side it doesn't drop from top to bottom like it does on a conventional reversible plow which can go with a bang if the damper's damaged but uh, it puts a lot less strain on the back end of the plow with it doing it how it does it's very gentle watch how the tractor slows up and starts to dig in on a heavier part of the field you can see the increased wheel slip if you look carefully enough as you notice we're not running wheel weights on the 724 that's only because we only had the plow for a day or so and uh, we wanted it to go rolling so uh, we didn't put the wheel weights in because it was so dry but there is the option we have two 600 kilogram wheel weights to go in it so when it's ballasted up it uh, performs a lot better when it's wet all right well we finished our demo we've washed the plow down and uh, put it in transport basically all you do is lock that off a pin stop the headstock moving about and then there's take the top link off so it floats then there's two pins what i showed you in here they're removed now and all there is, is you move the pin on the depth wheel. This pin here goes from there to here. Effectively, what it's doing, these notches, there's two notches like that, there. And that locks the transport wheel from, from flipping about like that when it turns over in normal work mode. So, that's basically all you have to do. There's another pin at this side. 
which you take out and then the stored up here. Now this will pivot now as you'll see in the video it'll pivot. So George is gonna demonstrate it with a normal six for a plow it's like playing tennis so we want to do a right hand turn now so normally that plow would swing round if you put it in full lock and hit the building so George is off to show you now how it works so now look that's turning how it's turning and then the plow is just following like a trailer so it tows really well on the road because it's like playing like I said it's like playing tennis with cars and everything when you're going around roundabouts the back end of the plow swings out and you might hit one so that's good that brilliant well done KV view a quick view from the cab yep Going round nicely. Curve. Brilliant. We're off. That's it, all dropped off back at Farmstar. Thank you very much for letting us try it. Nice uh, optimum there. Here's George with the uh, Piva Stealth Low Disturbance Subsoiler relieving any compaction out the field uh, prior to drilling. The field is going to be drilled with winter barley again. Uh, it was following a crop of winter barley. Anyway, after the combine went out, uh, the field was quality disc to get the volunteers to chip and hopefully any black grass or other weeds. And then uh, I've been through with uh, glyphosate to kill it all off uh, prior to drilling. So, uh, yeah, it'll uh, soon be drilled. field in the background is destined for the same uh, treatment with the heaver. That too is coming winter barley again. B's here. We've got uh, the combine they're coming to start the service on. So there's going to be two uh, technicians coming from uh, Class Eastern to do that. And uh, yeah, 
We've got the NZ in the workshop. We're just going through that. Want some points turning, bit doing on it, greasing up, making it ready. Because it's looking like if it stays wet, we'll probably be wanting it. So, uh, yeah. Just keep it out of mischief. Well, we've had a wet, uh, wet day yesterday and it's rained, still raining this morning. We've had well over, well, 26 mil at the minute. Uh, I know it's not a lot compared to other parts of the country, what they had uh, previous weeks, but uh, yeah, it's a lot here now. As you can see behind me, a lot of puddles. So uh, yeah, uh, drilling's not going to go for a day or two now, uh, maybe towards the weekend. So uh, yeah, so anyway, I think I'll yeah, we'll wrap this video up here. So that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, please hit that like, share, and subscribe. And a big thank you to uh, Farmstar and uh, KV for uh, letting us have that plow on demo and uh, trying it. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, we'll see you again next week.